the issue of secondary fibrosis for patients with with these diseases is really a, a critical piece you know with many different approaches uh, ongoing that are looking at, at either the megakaryocytes you know so there's the BET inhibition approach with pelabrasib that may have an impact on fibrosis nevidoclax that may have an impact uh, on fibrosis. We've had the anti-fibrosing agents themselves kind of in clinical trials, either uh, alone or in combination. It's an important target. We know that it's secondary. There was important data from ASH 2021 showing that certain interleukins, such as interleukin 13, may be involved in that secondary process. Our hope is that if we can dial myelofibrosis back to having a natural history closer to ET or PV, that that would make a tremendous impact for patients.